друзья, а вот Артурия. Все мы знаем Артурию. А вот их новое, новое детище. Матрикс Брод. Uh, 
and uh, as well these uh, envelopes here basically they are used for uh, let me just take that out again they are used for the amplifier but you can use the for, for the filter as well or assign the third one here on the patch bay as well to uh, let's say the pitch Got all the uh, destinations up there and all the sources on the left. And what comes extra are four custom modulation uh, targets. You could set just by holding down a button and let's say I want to control resonance of the Steiner Parker filter. And then just thumbs it up and it will assign uh, the parameter. It's quite fast at the moment. So that's a dummy at the moment. What you can see here is just printed that it's going to be a peak display like. Uh, Amazon Prime or Renus or something that's going to display the modulation targets. You can see in the dark as well? What? You, you'll be able to see in the dark as well with it. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a background light on it, of course. And uh, all these uh, targets also are available um, as a control voltage patch bay in the back. So we got 12 inputs and 12 outputs for the same parameters. Stereo delay, mono delay, a chorus and a flanger, and the reverberation, I already talked about it. And uh, it's got an inbuilt sequencer with 64 steps. Where you can set an accent, a slide, an automento, and modulation uh, to each of the steps. And, uh, well, in this unit it's not final yet, but you'll be able to activate a modulation on one of the steps. Uh, determine its uh, intensity and the question uh, what is targeted by this modulation is answered on the modulation matrix as well so the sequence uh, modulation can be sent to all of the targets as well so you do your basic offset which can be which can also be like zeroed out and then only do changes by activating uh, in the first row of each of these four rows the uh, modulation. And there's even a uh, there's an arpeggiator as well. It's pretty basic. I mean, you can run upwards, downwards, do random stuff. You can input the steps by just uh, putting down um, the record button, and then it will step through like. Okay, let me take that out. So it's just gonna play uh, play this back. Right now, there's too much going on, of course. Very fast. Now it's in random mode, and I want to set it to forward mode, which just run through. You can set the gate length so that it's only like uh, eight steps or one step. <laughs> you can have it swing, which doesn't work obviously if I only got activated. Well, this master cut up ring. Potentiometer is very useful for performance. It controls both of the, of the cutoffs at the same time. And we've got something similar down there, these macro knobs. They are endless controllers as well. And they have to be applied uh, to the targets via these four down there. So for uh, doing a uh, live performance, you'll just set up your sound in the studio. Then use it as a preset. You can save it on the 256 knobs. And just dial it up via one push on the button. And you could pre you could pre-assign the macro knobs then for special things, so that you know, oh, this is gonna do the LFO trick. Or I mean, since you can patch them, basically groups groups the filters and the effects and the parameters. You can group it to one knob. So yeah, exactly. So you don't have to tweak it. You can apply, I mean, you don't, don't only have one connection but per uh, target or per source. You can have it sent to each of this. So via turning one knob, of course I went too wide now so you can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> I could just turn one knob and then control everything with a certain amount, which is up to here. So, uh, 
very, very, very flexible. And all can be saved with the push of a button as a preset, so... This is not available on sale yet, you can't buy it yet, no? It's not, no, it's like, uh, be out like in July, August. I'm looking Price forward to it. I uh, don't know where you're coming from, but in Europe it's going to be like 2,000. Yeah. So... You say it. You're yeah. saying it. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you don't like the, the way it unfolds, like upwards, you might as well just take the unit and let it sink down completely. It doesn't because there are cables now below, but it have some medium steps as well. Like this, for example, I think there are like three different ways you can set it up, so comfortably, whether you're standing or sitting or how high your uh, seat is, or whether you have, you, uh, your, you have to have the place because there's another keypad on top of something. Cool. Pretty flexible, yeah. Cool. Cool. Thanks a lot. It was my pleasure, man. Thanks a lot. Can you yeah. say um, in Russian? Uh, to my subscribers, uh, спасибо. Спасибо. Uh, вы смотрите, вы смотрите, вы смотрите. Студийный, студийный. Дневник, дневник. Я, я призрак или роковой. That's from uh, what is it? Uh, a Russian composer. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Ребята, это был Артурия и Матрикс Брут. Крутая штука. Парень достаточно неплохо ему нам описал. Спасибо. Подписывайтесь на канал. Да, я это произнес.